Hi guys, welcome to another episode with me, Shishan Gurupa. And in today's episode, I'm going to tell you how we can actually diversify our portfolio in this stupid market, right? Now, the market is obviously going down. It's going to consolidate for a very long period of time. I did a follow-up episode on why the markets were falling, so you should definitely watch that. And if you have watched that, I also said that I will tell you a nice plan. I'll make a nice plan for you where you can start investing your money in a very non-thinking format. So I don't want you to think much. I just want to start investing. And this is a good dip to start investing, but also in a very diversified format, I'm going to show you an Excel sheet because a lot of people didn't understand how to invest or you're over investing in something, right? So today, very small, very quick episode. I'm going to give this Excel sheet to you as well. So let's have a look at it. Now, couple of things in this uh, entire Excel sheet, right? So first what I've done is I've just said insert your salary here, which is whatever your salary is, put that number there. Insert your savings below that, which is your savings that you have around 10,000 rupees. I've just shown you stuff like this. Uh, let me just go into full screen mode, make it easier for you. So assume that your salary is 50,000 and you are able to save 10,000 rupees out of that. Now automatically your salary to uh, savings to salary ratio is 20%. That, that means 20% of your salary is what you're saving. Ideally, the more the savings to salary ratio, the better it is for you. Why? Because you can start investing in it. Now, where do you invest this one by one? Let's look at it, right? So I would say at this point, because now the market is consolidating and it's always good for you to have a very balanced portfolio. I would say uh, stocks is where you can put 50% of it. And that to stocks, what I mean stocks, I would say Indian stocks. Let me be very clear. These are Indian stocks. Now, under Indian stocks also, I'll tell you what you can do is you can put 25% allocation into large cap. 10% in mid cap and 5% in small cap. I've seen a lot of people putting all their money into small cap and then the market goes down and then they're like, oh my God, bera, pura paisa khatam ho gaya, right? If you diversify like this, nothing will happen to you and put 10% into ELSS mutual funds. Why? Because this is your tax saving scheme. If you don't want to take save tax, then it's okay. Put little more into large cap and mid cap, but allocate it in that particular way, right? So Indian stocks 50% and automatically this 5,000 rupees is a calculation of this 10,000. So if I save, if I change this to 20,000 automatically, all the numbers will change below. So I'm making it very easy for you. So you don't have to think much every month, how much ever you have to save, just put that number here. It'll tell you how much you need to allocate everywhere. Okay. Then I would come to US stocks. So US stocks, I would allocate a 20% allocation into US stocks right now. Now US stocks, why, why am I allocating 20% into US stocks is because couple of things, right? The dollar has become very strong. India has depreciated in its value with respect to the rupee, rupee to INR de depreciation has happened. Lot of stocks in the US market have corrected heavily. NASDAQ has corrected a lot. And this is a good time to pick up stocks, but what? Not some stupid stock, please pick up good stocks, fundamentally strong stocks. So if you don't want to know what is fundamentally strong, Shashank, I don't know, I don't want to sit and do research, no problem. Find the top 50 stocks of uh, NASDAQ and start investing in that. If you're smarter, go slightly below that to the top 100 stocks and start investing in that, right? So if you want to play it safe, you can invest in Apple, you know, Microsoft, Amazon, all those big companies. But if you think you have a little more idea on how to do research, you can go slightly lower on the bottom chain as well to top 100. Third, coming to fixed income instruments or debt funds or debt instruments, right? I would say for now, start putting a 10% allocation into fixed income instruments. Is pe kya other? You will not get a crazy amount of return. Please understand that. You might get an average return of maybe 7% uh, or 8% and now with the increasing interest rates, the bond rates might go down even more. So you will get maybe 7% or 8% enough to even come at par to inflation. But why am I keeping the fixed income instrument is because we can't keep too much allocation into Indian stocks or US stocks. Why? Because the stock market fell down at 25% and then if it doesn't go up by 25% in the whole year and it's only giving an average of 7-8%, then debt instrument comes into the picture. So this basically gives you a hedge. It gives you a diversification. Apart from that, I'm giving you another hedge of 5%. What is this other hedge of 5%? Gold. Now gold also, I'm splitting it into SGB ETF or physical gold. Now it depends on how you want to do this. I'm only keeping a 5% allocation into this. You can buy sovereign gold bond or ETF or any online gold, or if you prefer buy physical gold as well. I usually prefer doing a mix of both. I buy both and keep. I don't know why, because I feel sometimes online stuff, when you buy, sometimes it might go wrong. I don't know what can happen tomorrow. Some new scam will come. So I keep small allocation on that as well. Apart from that, we come to your cryptocurrency, which a lot of you guys lost money and started crying. Only keep 5% allocation into cryptocurrency, number one. Out of that, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you can keep 1.5% each, which is almost 30% of the 5% pool that you have. And remaining 2% of whatever your entire pool of 5%, you can start investing into other coins like your Terra Luna. So now, even if that crashes tomorrow, only 2% of your 100% portfolio will start getting affected. Whereas most of your money is stuck in the Indian stocks and US stocks and here very small allocation. If you maintain this structure and just keep going on with this structure for maybe a long period of time, 
you will not be affected by different market swings. You will also make decent amount of returns over a long period of time. Now, if you say, Shashank, you know what? Indian stocks 50% name eko jada chie. Oh, done. Do jada. Do little more. Okay, maybe allocate it 60%. Automatically, everything changes, but you'll have to change the headings here. So, if this is 60%, I'm reducing maybe US stocks to say 10%. Fine. Now, 60 plus 10, 70, 80, 85, uh, 90, 100. Okay, ho gaya. Finally, we come to the last one, which is emergency fund. Now you'll be like Shashank, but I've already done emergency fund. Why should I do emergency fund again? I've already built my emergency fund. It's sitting in the corner. It is growing. So for all the people who have already finished building their emergency fund, I would say take this 10% and reallocate it into US stocks and Indian stocks. Okay. So reallocate 5-5% there. No problem. But if you haven't built your emergency fund, I would say put 10% into this. Where would I park my emergency fund? Most of it would go into liquid funds, liquid funds so that tomorrow I can remove that and it also earns a small amount of interest. Some of it I would put into short term government bonds, okay, short term, not long term government bonds because you might need it outside. Also, I would try looking at bonds where you can keep it as a collateral for loan if you really require it. So there are some bonds, I think like Bharat bond or something where you can invest in this and tomorrow if you desperately need a loan, they take these government bonds as collateral. So worst case, you can still go to a bank and get the money out. Right, worst case I'm saying, but I would keep majority of the money in liquid fund because they're sitting there and also earning some small amount of interest. Now, if you maintain this strategy, which is 50 plus 20, 70 percent almost into Indian stocks, 10 plus 5, 15 percent into fixed income instruments because gold also doesn't is not a volatile instrument. So, this is volatile, this is volatile, this is medium volatile, uh, this is very volatile, cryptocurrency is very volatile, emergency fund not volatile. So, if you keep this allocation almost say, for example, 50. Plus 20 plus 5, 75% is in the volatile segment, and the remaining 25% is non volatile. Now, if you feel this is also too risky, you like Shashank, nee, I can't do this, 75% is also volatile, you can make adjustments here. What are the adjustments? You can reduce your Indian stock allocation, you can reduce your US stock allocation, put that allocation into fixed income instruments. Right? So if you're young, you can afford to take this risk. If you're slightly in the older age group of 30 plus, then I would suggest you take little more into fixed or little more gold as well, either or one of this, right? But always try to improve this. Main thing is this, lot of people, I tell you, focus on this instruments, where to invest, what to invest, how to invest, and focus less on this. I would say focus more on increasing your salary so that tomorrow your salary becomes say one lakh, right? And you can start now investing maybe 40,000 or 40,000 of it, don't increase your lifestyle too much, and your salary savings ratio, savings to salary ratio goes up by 40%. Now that happens, you slowly start saving almost every month 40,000 rupees, which will compound to almost 4,80,000 with this average rate of return, maybe 5,50,000 you will save at the end of the year. So I would suggest always keep investing for a long period of time. Don't do short term investing and try to increase this ratio and increase the monetary amount here and maintain a perfect balance. If you follow this, I don't think you will have any issues when you're investing. So yes guys, this was a quick video on how you can diversify your portfolio and do this. I'm going to share this Excel sheet with you as well. So don't worry about that. And if you want any more of such videos where it can help you during these tough times and there for you, don't worry, I'm your teacher. If you have any more problems, put in the comment below. I will come and tell you everything on how to do it. So I'm not stressing on this in this downfall. In fact, I'm super happy and glad that this downfall has happened because I'm going to start investing in the market right now and buying stocks at a very good discount. I would suggest you do the same. Okay, this is me, Shishan Gurupa, signing off. Take care, bye. See you. Bye.